Hey guys, welcome to Duck Duck Diecast, and in today's video, I will be showing you guys how I personally pack my loose vehicles. So this, these are models that don't have a box, they don't have a base, it's just basically the model itself. And we're gonna get from this to basically like this. This is another model that someone purchased for me, and as you can see, even if I lay it upside down or wiggle a bit, there's no movement inside because the back of this 917 it hinges open like that and it doesn't even move at all as you can see right there like that the hinge is not moving at all the doors aren't moving at all and I made sure like there's nothing that's obstructing the way as you can see at the tail here I left a little bit of room just so it wouldn't hit or it's it's not too snug enough that it's going to uh, hurt the back of this model. As you can see, it's uh, sticking out a bit. So I will run you through a bunch of things and a bunch of frequently answered questions as well. So I usually like to recommend other things, but for this one, you can't do a shortcut on this. I, I prefer bubble wrap. And then I also, prefer using some tape and obviously the model that you are going to have to pack so before we begin just a quick disclaimer I just want to let you guys know that this is how I personally do it I know there's multiple ways of doing this but for me I find this the best way and I've recommended it to a few people as well and they personally like the idea so you know if you like it give me a like let me know in the comments down below if there's a different way of you guys uh, doing this process, but yeah. All right, let's do this. So first of all, get bubble wrap, like a long bubble wrap. Like as you can see, this is really, really long because you want it to be rolled in the car multiple times. So first of all, I would have the car lengthwise just like that leaving maybe one length of the car sorry there you go so one length of the car widthways and a little bit so I can do this so as you can see we do have the side mirrors here and that's one thing you have to worry about so and make sure the car is nice and center. So I would roll it just just nice and easy and then I would just tuck it underneath. Because you're probably gonna have to do this for yourself. If you have a significant other then yeah go for it but uh, yeah I prefer doing this by myself. And then I slowly gently roll it and I just nicely wrap it around and just keep on going keep on going and I, and as I'm doing this I'm being very careful not to hit um, those side mirrors because I know they are fragile almost there just a little bit more and we get to this point and now we can get our tape and then right there, get her tape. And just kind of push it, just pull it a little bit and that's it. And these edges here, I'm gonna secure that. I'm gonna close that off just in case the car pulls out. So I'm gonna do the bottom. And to the top make sure the tape does not hit the model because as soon as that tape hits the model like especially in an area where there's a decal that decal will come off with the tape when you take the tape off so make sure it's not hitting any of the decal or the surface of the, of the car so yeah just uh, an FYI there and then this one as you can see this frunk front trunk opens up 
like as you can see it's like that so that I have to be extra careful so this is gonna be tapered nice and flat so I'm gonna tape it from from the top all the way to the bottom so first I'm gonna start with this and then I'm gonna kind of fold it just like that with the tape just want to make sure this uh, yeah so I'm just kind of forcing it down a little bit but not too much force and there you go and then Obviously, the, this extra stuff, I'm just gonna nicely tape it. And as you can see, there is a little bit of a leg room there. Like, it's snug in the middle here, because that's where we focus the roll on. But if you can see on the sides here, I can feel it right here. That's where the side mirrors are. They're completely intact. And that's why I focused right here in this section because I want to leave a little bit of room here for the side mirrors and after a few more bits of tape this is what it should look like so you can see it's very padded it's very secure again I left a little bit of room right here so it's not super snug on the side mirrors and as you can see none of the moving parts are moving at all it's very secure none of the doors move yeah I just do a little bit of a kind of a wiggle shake test whatever you call this thing just to make sure none of the moving parts inside are moving um, the buyer who is purchasing this recommended me to uh, do like what I do in my other videos like just have a little bit of Kleenex and then just do that all around and then tape it just like like I mean obviously before I start doing all this stuff like uh, rolling it like just taping it so the parts inside don't move but I made sure that would not be necessary because none of the parts are moving right now as you can see and you can hear it as well there's nothing because that's exactly what I did to this other model so this 917 it's an auto art um, so obviously both doors open up and at the same time the rear also opens up your cowl so it just opens up like a clamshell like that so he was worried about it opening up and as you can see in the seams there it does not open up at all and this front cowl does come off so what I did with this is I separately wrapped it in another bubble wrap because if I left that there 100% like as you can see there's a bit of a gap there that's gonna shake in there and there's a chance that these decals right here they're gonna hit they're gonna scratch that decal might come off so many horror stories are gonna happen with this and he's probably gonna be upset so let's not do that right so yeah anything that is removable in the vehicle that you're selling that's obviously not in the box I would definitely take it off and I believe when this model came out with a box there was some sort of like clip to hold it in, in into so I also received this but it didn't have a clip on it like it like it came in the box like a like my like one of my personal models um, so they just taped it underneath the base and you know like they they put some plastic on it just so it doesn't uh, come off and whatnot so that works too but in this case you know there's no box on it and yeah like again if I do the shake test on this or the wiggle test it's all good and yeah like this is like what two two passes all to roll around and yeah like it's pretty good okay so frequently answered questions what if you have a model with an antenna obviously that's a bit fragile you get something where obviously if you have an antenna in this model 
you can't really do this, right? Like, that's definitely going to be destroyed. Like, if you can take it off, because I know some models, you can remove the antenna because it comes separately. I would definitely do that. And then instead of just bubble wrapping it like this, I would recommend just to make sure it's intact, I would put, say, a piece of cardboard a piece of cardboard and then the antenna and then I would like bubble wrap that that's what I would do but if it's fixed for example like say this model as you can see that's fixed there you can't remove that antenna at all so that's gonna be yeah gonzo or let's say your wing is very sensitive so this is my recommendation get one of these Tupperwares so I'm in Canada so we have the dollar store I don't know what you have in your country but yeah like anywhere you go you can find these and they're cheap look at this this is two dollars so this was shipped to me because it didn't come with a box so very genius idea just use this as basically the case so he had this as a spacer so you don't go way too far like when you screw it back in and the whole suspension just starts crushing itself so I would recommend some spacers uh, you could probably get this in hardware store or something like that and because like it doesn't matter how how high it is as long as all of them are you know actually these are like beads or something like for a necklace but yeah they're i think they're metal though but yeah um so 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 that's what he did he basically lined these up so you got one two three and then he actually got some screws that actually line up very well to the model so that's pretty cool um, it doesn't have to be this type like as long as the thread pitch is correct with the base of the model then I think it shouldn't be a problem so yeah so basically long story short um, let's see so obviously your model with the antenna in there and then I'm just gonna set these aside I don't want to make a mess so yeah, um, set that, and then what you would do is line the holes up, so get a marker, boom, 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 and then take the model off, okay, and then just drill your holes, and then get these guys, get all of them, that one's tight, ooh, that one's tight. As so and then obviously line up your uh, your spacers inside or you could probably like lay the spacers this is just an example here just imagine this without bubble wrap um, and then yeah like let's pretend that's how it goes and then line up your stuff and then it goes in there and then you just Tighten it all up and make sure it's tight. And then you're done. You have basically an improvised box that would prevent any sort of issues with the, uh, like, I don't know, like getting your, your model destroyed in transit or something like that. So this is kind of like your extra layer of protection and this is tough right like honestly I think this is even better than most of the uh, boxes that it comes from and I do have to suggest if you are gonna use this method the higher I think the better just because you have to make sure that these spacers are enough of a height that's gonna clear your vehicle and and at the same time if you're gonna get one of these Tupperware containers make sure the height is also like a uh, sufficient to what model you're gonna use so for example this 917 again 
look at the clearance. It's it's perfect, right? There's even like what about maybe half an inch clearance and yeah, like three quarters of an inch clearance after it's in there. So yeah, and then obviously you have to make sure that the uh, antenna is also not hitting on top, right? And I do have to uh, say, yeah, like just make sure it's nice and snug in there because you don't want this to come off because this is why you're doing all this stuff, right? So yeah, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.